Six starts right now. A squadron of tankers and helicopters begin day three of the air fight to stop the Alisal fire. It's burned more than 15,000 acres at this point and is just 5% contained. The fire broke out Monday afternoon in the front country above Kuhil. And more than 800 firefighters are working hard to put it out. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm CJ Ward. We begin tonight with the latest on the Alisal fire along the Gaviota Coast. We have live team coverage of the fire tonight. Let's begin with News Channel reporter John Palmentary, who was there as firefighters held a briefing this afternoon. And John, what's the very latest? And now we're well away from that briefing and along the Gaviota coastline, just past Refugio and just before Mariposa Arena or the Gaviota Curve. It's raining ash on us right now, and we're standing in dry brush. Behind us, the fire is burning in this hill, and a lot of smoke is kicking up. At times, it looked like it was going up like a volcano. So the story here is what's going to happen with the winds. That's the story that will shape the firefight going forward. Sometimes it's calm, depending on where you are. A short time ago, it was blowing very hard. And at times, that can make this area very unsafe. And of course, throw fire in several directions. The windy conditions along the Gaviota Coast have refused to calm down for the third day, at least enough to slow the spread of the Alisal fire. Fortunately, there have been conditions good enough for the air tankers and helicopters to get a shot at this fire front with water and fire retardant. That didn't happen the first two days. Fire commanders say this section of the coast is quiet in one canyon and explosive in another. You can go to the very next draw like Refufi or El Cap and it'd be howling down downwind approximately 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, which was the case on the first day on October 11th. Speaking at a unified command site at the Earl Warren Showgrounds in Santa Barbara, the fire response is now shifting to a federal incident with a larger team to coordinate all aspects of the ground and air attack, resources, mutual aid, and when it's over, the recovery. In some areas, the hills are falling apart with the erratic fire behavior. As soon as the fire passed over, all the rock rolled onto the road and trees were falling immediately. So that's what we're dealing with just to gain access up into the area. Firefighters are hoping the advancing flames will hit some old fire zones and slow down. That would be the Gaviota fire footprint from 2004 on the west side and the 2016 Sherpa fire on the east side. So we're hoping as it progresses into that, it'll slow down with a, a shorter fuel bed. And the more important one is the Sherpa fire in 2016, where um, it's moving in that direction, but you can see that the fire is already slowing down. But where it is burning, it's hot, erratic, and damaged an old dry brush. The county says priority properties are getting on-site protection, including the Tahiguas landfill equipment, which has had some fire impacts. And the ranch properties are well known here, which means every structure is getting protection from the fire crews. This fire is going to cost millions of dollars to put out, but the financial relief is in place. And luckily for us, um, a big event happened yesterday in that our request for federal help through something called an FMAG, a fire management assistance grant, was granted by Cal OES. So that means a lot of our costs will be reimbursed by the federal government. This is not foreign ground for many of our firefighters. They have been here several times on fires. They know each and every one of these canyons. Many of them live up here or have hiked up in here or have friends that live up in here. And they also know all the properties. That means they can help the responding agencies, the strike teams, go into each and every driveway onto the ranches, protect the structures, and just figure out what's in there, what needs to be guarded from the Alisal fire. Reporting live along the Gaviota coastline, where it's still very blustery tonight and the fire is burning actively behind me in these hills, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel reporter. All right, a great wrap-up. Thank you so much, John. Federal funds are now available.